What's going on YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And I've promised this video on Instagram and a few of you have keep <laughs> reminding me that I need to do this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it today. Uh, basically the reason it's been put off is because of the Galaxy S5 and I've been trying to focus on that. But this is still a relevant device to this day. It's definitely one of my go-to devices. One of my more favorite and pleasurable devices to work with just because of that awesome Tegra 4, the uh, triggers and buttons and the fan that keeps it cool, the HDMI so I can hook it up to my TV. On my second channel and on my gaming channel, I posted some videos with gameplay outputting 1080p HDMI uh, and then capturing that and it looks really, really good. Like I played a few games and captioned 1080p and it's on YouTube. So the micro SD card, I have a 32 gig because at the well, with 4.3, it didn't recognize XFAT. With 4.4, I wonder if they fixed that. That's something I'll have to try out later on and update the description. Micro HDMI, and then that, which I never use that 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. I never use it. In fact, if I'm taking a shower, I honestly open up Google Play Music on here, and when I launch it, I raise the volume up to about one level before max, and it's I can hear it clearly in my bathroom, or you know, in my shower. And it's just, the speakers on this thing are incredible and by far the loudest out of any device I've ever used. So, still, this is still a very good device. And as you can see, things look a little bit different. The icons at the top here are more of a white color, which is, you know, what KitKat should be. So when you drag this down, you'll also see some new options up here. Like, full screen mode, mirror cast... Some of these are, you know, there was less options before. So, of course, like always, if you press on one of them, it takes you to that setting, like the battery here. It takes you to the battery. I just, just turn this device on. I don't use it all the time, but when I'm wanting to play video games, then I usually end up using this because they've updated the mapper mode. Like, for instance, um, for some reason, it keeps saying some apps aren't installed. I'm going to have to take them off of the home screen and then put them back on the home screen because they are installed. I just need, hmm, I guess Real Racing 3 was uninstalled. This device has some of the fastest Wi-Fi I've seen on the device. I don't think it's wireless AC, but I get a connection speed of 300 megabits per second when I'm downstairs in my living room. I am upstairs, so none of my phones or tablets or devices uh, get full. I mean, the signal's fine, but you're not gonna get the best speed until you get right up to next to your router. So uh, I've reinstalled the app. I don't know if it's going to have all my game saves and stuff. I had, I'm had i pretty sure I had the game on here before the KitKat update. Let's see. Yeah, see? It didn't have to download all of it. It was Some of it was still on there. I just had to reinstall the app. Uh, Root Uninstaller Pro is an app I use. And I found out that uh, that app says it wasn't installed. I went through my apps and sure enough, it was there. It just, for some reason, I've got to uh, remove the icon because it says the app is not installed, but one of the, again, except this time it should be on here, root uninstaller. So now I'll put that on the desktop and I press on it and bam, because this device is rooted. That's what I'll talk about real quick while this is downloading because I want to show you the new game mapper mode. You can root your tablet. It's as easy as downloading a dot image, going into bootloader and then flashing that image and it'll go into a custom little thing there and it'll root your device. Oh, you know what? I had this game on the SD card. That's what it was. That's exactly what it is. I had this game on the SD card and it, with the latest KiCad update, it's having SD card issues like Samsung and all the other ones are. Holy cow. Anyways, so, oh, there's new cars. I used to have 79 and 79 and now there's, of course there's new cars, cool. Anyways, I want to go ahead and do a race, so let's do a race. Yeah, let's do it. It's been a while since I've played this game. All right, so I, I do have some pre, well, I need to fix them, but you hold down the start button, and when you hold down the start button, oh, they even changed the joystick icon. It used to be black, so like you'll just long press on it, and then you'll press move, and you'll move it where you need to move it, or you press on it, once it's green, you can press the little delete button. And as you'll see, all these are different. I, I uh, shake left or right to sign 
sensor mapping. That's cool. So I have a little X there for my break and then RB to go next and stuff. So I've set up all this. I can just press this and go clear and now it's reset. And I'll just drag something like this down here. And then if you press Y, it'll resize it, which this is standard. It just looks different. And also you should be able to download stuff. The, oh, cloud, it's a different icon now. It used to go over here and do it. Now you go over here and it downloads. Okay, cool, 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 cool. This has ratings, so let's go ahead and download this one. And import successful. Nice. Let's see how this person did with their setup. Oh, look at that. You, you saw how my joystick wasn't working at first. Well, with, with his mapping that people have rated pretty good stars. And you can see how quickly and easy it was to download that. So L is my break. So is R tr the trigger, the right trigger. B is the camera. Anyways, and you can also get to it by going up here. Now I have this thing rooted and I have the exposed framework installed. I need to go ahead and get rid of this. I needed this before because, well, actually that'll get me into recovery and stuff. Uh, it's an app called Advanced Reboot Manager or something. Uh, right here, Advanced Power Menu. It's a canceled project, unfortunately, but it still works and you need the exposed framework. Anyways, it gives you those reboot options. Anyways, what I was trying to show you is when you hold down this button, now you can also get to the game mapper mode. There's been some games where I've held the start button down and it wouldn't show me like the screen that I needed to use to program stuff. So we'll double tap that, we'll go back to real racing and we'll resume and we'll hold down this button. And we'll see, it'll work differently in some games, but some games it doesn't let you see where you need to map stuff and you can hold down this button to get to the game mapper mode right there. Or you can just long press the start button and get to it there. So that's just some of the major KitKat changes. And well, he's got Y mapped, he's got the left trigger, which is up here, the right trigger. Anyways, you saw how quick and easy it was to download that guy's mapping and have controller support for this really fast paced and kind of fun game. I haven't played it in a while though, but and it's, it's so easy to steer. Except I'm off. I was looking away from the camera to see where the where, what the camera was recording. So I was looking at the uh, little screen on my camera and not the actual device and I got off the road there. But dude, this is beautiful. I'll show you my my joysticks. See, I did it again. I looked at the, there we go. Now you're seeing the joysticks. This, this device is still a whole lot of fun. And you know what? I'm probably gonna hook this up to my TV and play this game in 1080p. That's what I was talking about on my other channel, which I can, if I remember to link to the video in the description, I will. It shows me playing this game in 1080p because this device can output in 1080p. Well, actually they say it can do 4K, but it'll probably be a while before we see an update that allows 4K streaming because uh, that's pretty high. Like, I'm, I don't even think any Android games will support 4K streaming at the moment. But this is absolutely beautiful. This is great. This is so much better than touching on a screen and trying to steer. Anyways, <laughs> enough having fun there. This device is still pretty freaking awesome. There's a lot of features that you'll have to just look at the thing that they posted about everything that's new and go from there. Uh, one of the SD card issues is a little bit annoying. So like if we open up ES File Explorer, See, it says it's been granted super user permission. If it did not have root, then like Root Explorer told me, I wouldn't be able to move files to my external SD card thanks to freaking KitKat. So I'll go to About Shield here and you'll see Android 442. So we are in KitKat and it's, it's still got that stupid SD card issue. Hey, look at that. That's pretty cool. Shield. But yeah, someone asked me in my video on how to unlock the bootloader and root this thing. That still works. The process is a little different. They changed it, but it's, like I said, it's as simple as downloading an image 
going into download into bootloader mode, having an unlocked bootloader in the correct drivers. If you don't have the correct drivers, you're gonna have a hell of a time rooting this thing. And I have two videos, two separate videos on fixing fast boot issues and also ADB driver stuff. So those will be linked in the video description, or you can just search, you know, NVIDIA Shield fast boot issues. But anyways, so I've got the exposed framework and I've got all these exposed modules here and I, yeah, so <laughs> that's pretty cool. So I don't know if this is different, but we'll go ahead and go out under the options of controller, enable gamepad mapper, auto download from the cloud if available, treat mouse as touch and pointer speed. Okay, didn't see that before. That may have, it may have been there though. I know the bumpers for the volume was there before. LED brightness. Yeah, so all that's still there. And I, th I mean, this is still a really fun device. And l let me stop talking. Let me stop talking and get to the meat of the show, okay? So I'm gonna press the little button here. And then I'm gonna go down to my PC games and press A. And then I'm gonna launch Just Cause 2 because that's one of my favorite games. Black Ops 2 works just as you'd expect it to. But this is from my laptop. My laptop downstairs is displaying whatever is on here. So when you drag this around, it's kind of like using Team Viewer on Android. Like you can see the mouse at the top right there, but I'm actually touching in the middle. I can just go over here or right there. So I'll just go to server browser and then go to my history and then Go, go to this one right here and hit connect. This 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 device just got a whole lot more fun. Be able to play Black Ops 2 from my couch? That's awesome. Or my bedroom? I'm upstairs. My router is downstairs. You saw how fast my link speed was. But I'm able to use this just like I'm downstairs. <laughs> Almost died there. Now, if you tap with two fingers, sometimes you have to do it more than once. Okay, brings up the keyboard here, and I can hit the B button for buy, and then I can hit the back button to get rid of the keyboard, and then I just navigate my mouse to, like, the car here. And then I'll hit buy, and look, now I'm in a car. And the right trigger gives me gas, the left triggers I break. It's just like I'm using, like, an Xbox 360 controller for Windows. And, um, oh, I'm drifting. <laughs> Apparently you drift in the snow. I actually haven't been in the snow in this game yet. So this is the first time being in the snow. And if I hold the left bumper, I'm, I'm in that boost mode that you get with the mod. The mod is available on Steam. I downloaded it from the Steam place, the Steam store. So I didn't, you know, install this on my own. It was available from the Steam store. Okay, so I died. Anyways, let's go back and let's quit that game. And then we'll launch Black Ops 2 and I'll show you that real quick and I'll end the video. But this is my laptop. My laptop is an Asus G750JH, Republic of Gamers gaming laptop. I did an unboxing video of it. Just search WWJoshDEW Asus and you, uh, I have a bunch of Asus videos, but you'll find the one on the G750JH. But last but not least, uh, one thing I haven't tried yet is that Grand Theft Auto. I want to try that, play that on here. It's going to be a lot of fun. So I, I don't have to touch the screen. I can just use this and then go to online. All right, press A, public match, find match, core, team death match. Just try to get into something real quick to show you this uh, neat little thing here. And right here it's saying like Y, X, R, B, B. It's, it's showing you what buttons to press because it knows that you're using a controller. And I'm going to turn the volume up a little bit so you can actually hear the game. You can still do like Just Cause and have a little mouse and click on stuff like Create a Class. And then go through here. I'm not much of a PC gamer, so I'll hit the B button to go back. So I haven't gotten very far. <laughs> All right, so we'll just start with this gun here. 
and we'll play some Black Ops 2 for a second. The video's already a little bit long, so whatever. My laptop is a beast. You see the frames per second up there? My, my laptop is crazy. And I'm so glad I can finally use my laptop on my video shield. I could be up, up, up in bed, upstairs. Um, my room's right across from me. I could be upstairs in my bedroom and be playing me some Black Ops 2 or Grand Theft Auto or Just Cause multiplayer mod or anything. I haven't adjusted the sensitivity, so I don't know how this is going to play out. I can't believe I got him. I hate this map. Everybody camps in that other room, and then you come in here and they shoot you. Get out of my way. See, I've... Uh, <laughs> yeah... I need to adjust the sensitivity. I, I usually play on a really, really high sensitivity. So, in a moment's notice, I can be spun all the way around and shoot somebody. You just get used to it. Okay, so that's it. That's all there is to that. Let me go back to it and close it out. The KitKat update on this thing is by far the biggest update yet. You just saw me playing Just Cause Multiplayer Mod and Black Ops 2 Multiplayer on my NVIDIA Shield while my laptop downstairs was doing all the hard work. This, this is crazy. So I have Assassin's Creed Black Flag installed, Grand Theft Auto 4, uh, Just Left 4 Dead 2, it was a free game. Steam was like on sale, or Steam had a sale, and this game was like two two dollars and like ninety nine cents or two fifty or something. So a lot of these games I got on sale. Uh, this one was like thirty bucks, like a year or so ago. But um, I, I, I'm a sucker for sales. If something's on sale, I have a hard time passing it up. But that was the KitKat update. The biggest issue people are gonna have is the SD card issue, which I don't know how they're gonna fix that. Apparently, it's a it's spread across KitKat in general. Doesn't matter if it's Samsung or or Nvidia or whatever. It's just it's KitKat. If you're rooted, then you can actually add a permission for the SD card, and every single app will access the SD card. As of right now, each app has to specifically update to support that external SD card you have in there. So if I go to local here, and then I go to SD card one, you'll see there's stuff on here and I can move stuff back and forth. But anyways, I don't wanna make the video much longer than it already is. If you enjoyed it, as always, please leave a rating letting me know whether you liked it or you didn't like it. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. As you can see, Plume is my favorite Twitter app and Instagram right there. I still have that one installed because every now and then you you reach your freaking API limit for the uh, plume for third-party Twitter apps. So I still use the default Twitter app whenever it says, hey, you, were, you need to wait five minutes to do anything else. But anyways, please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Both of those are at www.joshdew. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for future videos on the NVIDIA Shield. The NVIDIA Shield 2, that's supposed to come with the Tegra 5. Super excited about that. I hope they put a full-size USB port back here. So instead of using a micro USB to full-size USB connection, when you when you do that, you can't use the you can't charge the device. You need this little connector right here to charge the device. And when you're using a micro USB OTG cable plugged into a hub, the, you, you can't give this unit power while doing that. So you're using battery until it dies. So I'd love to see a full-size USB port on the new NVIDIA Shield 2 or whatever. The second one's coming out soon. And I'm done talking. I'm just, a, I'm a junkie for tech. I love this thing. It's, it's going to be 199 soon. So if you have 199 I highly recommend checking it out. This is what Josh do, and I'm out.